class and welcome to Project NOAA's Nature School Owl Pellet Activity, where we'll be investigating what owls eat by dissecting an owl pellet. First, you may be asking, what exactly is an owl pellet? Well, it's a compacted capsule, if you will, of all the things the owl couldn't digest after eating its meal. You see, owls can't chew their foods like we can. Sometimes they use their beak to maybe crush up their prey or tear off bits and pieces if the animal is really big. But for the most part, once they capture their prey, like say a small mammal or an insect or even other birds, they swallow them whole. As the owl digests its meal, certain things won't break down, like bones, teeth, feathers, fur, and even insect exoskeletons. Now the owl's body takes all these extra parts and compacts them into a tight pellet for the owl to spit up later. So we're going to go through one of these pellets and see what this owl ate. A rib here, see that? That is the mandible of a rodent. You see, the molars right there, where the tweezers are, you can forceps, you can see where it attaches to the upper skull, and then that big rodent tooth right there. Oh, look. It looks like this is another mandible of a rodent. And the size of the tooth right there and that's the lower mandible and where it connects to the skull. So we got two mandibles. I'm really hoping that we can find the top of the skull. <gasps> I think I found something. Pull some, so much hair. Wow, check this out. So we definitely know the owl ate a rodent Look at that incredible rodent skull. You can see the really big rodent teeth in the front. It's a good sized rodent skull. So what we have here is the skull of the rodent. Here's the skull of the rodent and then the top of it and that's the two bottom mandibles. You can see that those really big rodent teeth and then we have the femur right here and a rodent scalpula right there. And then of course, lots of other really cool small bones like ribs and other, other bits and pieces of the legs. And then of course, lots and lots of fur. I think I'm gonna continue with some more owl pellets. And if you guys happen to do an owl pellet yourself, definitely take pictures and let me know. They are so cool to investigate and we can learn so much. As you can see from all the cool things we are finding, owl pellets can tell us a lot about an owl's diet and can be incredibly useful to owl researchers that study them. Well, thanks everyone for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next Project NOAA Nature School mission. Until next time, this is Miss Mallory inviting you to step outside and adventure. Oh, I think I found another skull. <laughs>